Hi, Hi friends. I think we're live. Yep. It's been a minute since we've talked to you and um, we sure have appreciated all your love and support. A lot's happened in the last several months that you know about and you know it's been a really difficult time for our family but we so appreciate all your prayers and comments and love and support that you've sent our way. This is my son Austin. For those of you that don't recognize him, he's all grown up. Yeah. He works full time uh, for the ministry now and he also is our bookkeeper. Yeah, I just started doing that um, and uh, I'm excited to um, be a little more involved in the ministry and um, excited to be joining you guys. And I just want to say um, we want you guys to jump in on the comments and um, leave some questions that you have for us and um, a little later we'll be answering some of those questions and um, also just tell us where you're from what country you're viewing in from yeah that's something we always like to see our first concert back is September 11 and it's going to be at Andrews University at the Howard Performing Arts Center at eight o'clock and tickets just went on sale and we are so excited. Um, I can't even tell you <laughs> what it's been like. You and, and all of our wish, actually the whole, all of our team, the singers, we all wanna continue and honor my dad and glorify the Lord uh, through our music ministry. So we're excited to get back out there. Um, also, the end of October to the first week of November, we're doing a tour through Florida. So if any of you are from Florida, we would certainly love for you to come. Um, it'll be on our website. I think we're having four concerts in Florida, something like that. But um, we just so appreciate how you've stood behind us during this time. Um, what my dad went through really was so shocking for all of us because to our knowledge, he was doing great. And um, after his radiation treatments, they were only given to him to help him uh, prevent the cancer from coming back. You know, he had one little tumor right here on his face and uh, they took that out and then the radiation was, you know, gonna just take care of everything and a few weeks or, was it a few weeks? I mean, a couple months. Yeah, it was all it was really fast. a blur, honestly. Yeah, um, he just got really bad, really fast. Well, he was, he could talk to us the whole time, which was really awesome. Um, it's just, he got really weak. And then near the end, he, um, like he died probably 24 hours after he had been just having a great conversation with his, his, one of his buddies and, and we just did not see it coming. We had no idea that he even had cancer at that point. So it's been a big shock for our family and I'm sure for all of you too, you know, we still get calls from people who said they had no idea that he's passed. And Yeah, just yesterday I got a call, someone saying that they had no idea what had happened or my dad was gone. And, ooh, I got to tell you, it's been hard. It's been really hard. Um, but we trust the Lord and we know that we are going to continue to honor him through this ministry and bring people hope in this world that's just so hopeless sometimes. It's so discouraging, but um, we know where our hope comes from and that's Jesus. And that's where our peace comes from as well. My mom's hanging in there, um, the rest of the family, you know, it's, I'm not gonna pretend it's easy because it's been really hard, especially holidays, don't you think? We've, as a family, we've never really gone through something this huge mm -hmm. this 
it's a really tremendous loss and being like the patriarch and yeah it's it's really it does a day doesn't go by where at least i i don't you know think of him at least once so yeah it's it's hit all of us really hard but you know after talking with him and he he just wants us to continue he wants the ministry to continue and we just reached 50 years which is yeah incredible yeah we're <laughs> we haven't really gotten to, to celebrate, celebrate it that. yeah my dad was so excited to get to 50 years and now we're already halfway through 50 years of ministry and i'm so proud of him and his reputation and the legacy uh that he's left and he was just a true man of god all the time and just loved everybody I actually never saw him um, walk past a homeless person without helping him. He just, he really lived what he spoke about in concert. <sighs> Which, you know, we feel so blessed to have had him 83 years, but would love to have had him 83 more years, for sure. Um, we're also planning on being back at Loma Linda University Thanksgiving weekend, so... Mm -hmm. We're praying that all goes well, and we will have our regular annual concert there. Yeah, we really missed that last year. That yeah, fun. it was, it was oh, yeah, man. a lot. A lot has happened. Um, okay, let's so, ask. Yeah, we're going go to gonna go some of, through some of the comments right now. So we got some oh, Moses Lake, Philippines. Hello. They're asking Brazil. if we're going to live stream the Andrews concert we won't be able to live stream that one i'm sure we'll do some lives um facebook lives during our rehearsal and maybe some of the concert but we can't stream it because mm -hmm. it's a ticketed event and what's that say any concert plan in miami actually right now there is a plan to be in miami um all of these concerts are really dependent on how covid goes yeah um, we just don't really know, but there's plans for now. We're just yeah. not sure. Yeah. Miami could be possibly um, November 6th. So we're in Orlando the weekend before that. So we'll put more information out on Facebook once we know the yeah. direct schedule. Yeah. But we've been talking about it and we're excited about it. Really excited to get together. Um, at Andrews, um, Scott Reed is going to be singing in my dad's place. So that makes me really happy um, that he'll be there. Um, we've got the whole group coming to Andrews. We have um, Cindy and Shaney and Melody and me and McGill and Tim Calhoun and uh, Scott and Dave Bell. So we've got a great team coming to Andrews. And, if you're anywhere close, I encourage you to come. We would we would love that. Yeah, I need to get your tickets. Yeah, I just looked on there today. I guess the tickets opened yesterday and they're going quite quickly. So we don't want you to miss out. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, we, we have a lot. Um, Met your dad. If you, oops, where'd that one go? I don't know if we... Hmm. Oh, sorry. They they're kinda, going by fast. They go by fast. Um... Sorry, I might have to use these uh, glasses to really... I saw my father-in-law's in the chat. Hello. <laughs> Good uh, to see you. Hi, Kim. Kim Bird. Uh, it's not Bird anymore. Sorry, Kim. Ortner is watching. Um, it says... Yeah. The comments are moving quite quickly. Yes, they are. It's watching from Sydney. Yeah, I need to move down. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Philippines. More from the Philippines. L let's Sydney. Read, uh, Solomon Islands. Hello. We've always wanted to go to Solomon Islands. That's one place we have not made it yet. So if you know someone. Yeah. If, if anyone would want to um, bring the group in, a sponsor, let us know. We're ready to go. We're anxious to get out there and spread the love of Jesus. Yeah, we have a whole new CD that's oh, yeah. only been performed once. I know. Brand new CD and we've only sung the songs one time. 
so and we have a new Christmas CD that we haven't been able to sing at all so we're excited to do that okay let's see uh, Minnesota Brazil oh Chattanooga hi right. Chattanooga Mary Lou I know I'm in shock this is what happened to my dad too this is from the Philippines sending a kiss to who's that let's see <laughs> sorry this one right go down what oh already went sorry away. they moved so fast <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh There's... i see you doug henson hello from idaho would say grew up with heritage singers i wore out my eight track of dreamer Thank you, Cindy. I know I was just 17 years old when I made that CD. You can imagine it. Years ago, the Philippines. Is any plans for the 50th reunion concert? Well, that is what we wanted to do. It wouldn't have been a reunion concert, actually. It would have been like um, a celebration of 50 years. So we'll see. We're halfway through 50. So nothing's ever out of the picture. We'll see what happens mm -hmm. with that. Yeah, Dinar is here. Hi, Dinner. Um, here, just coming to Florida. That's right, you put in there. Stay Dinner tuned. is going to be singing with us in Florida, uh, the director of our Spanish group from Chile. So he lives in Florida now, and he's going to. Um, going to help you guys out. Going to help us out <laughs> in many ways, yes. But he's going to sing with us as well, which will be really fun. We oh got Vanuatu. Oh, I loved Vanuatu. We sang oh, there wow. years ago, and my one of my memories from. Being in Vanuatu is I had asked them, the taxi driver, if he knew who Mickey Mouse was. And he said, I've never heard of Mickey Mouse. But they played our Tahiti with Love DVD on their television all the time, um, all over Tahiti. So they actually knew who Harry Singers was, and they didn't know who Mickey Mouse was. So <laughs> I thought that that's, was, that's shocking. Wow. I, I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's great. Uh, how do we get the CDs? Well, to order CDs, just go to our website, www.heritagesingers.com. Mm -hmm. We have all of our music on there. So if you want some CDs, you yeah. can order there. Yep. Um, our CDs we ship out every day. And also, um, we put our, my husband has mastered in, in Austin a lot of our older CDs and songs. I mean, CDs that were really old, for the first time, they're available to be streamed um, on iTunes and Amazon. And um, We're, we're going to do another live video yeah. going through all of them. And but there's a lot of them. So. We're going to make them fun. We're going to make it fun. We're going to have a good time with all these old CDs. Oh, thank you. for She just wrote, you have my full support. Hello, hello Mark from Spokane, from Indonesia. Hi, Austin. It says, hi, Austin. Thank Hello. <laughs> um, when you come into Oahu, as soon as you bring us, we want to sing there. We've sung there a few times, but we want to, we're ready to go. We just need sponsors to get us there. Um, you know, would have to fly us in. But you're always welcome to go to our uh, heritagesingers.com and our phone number's there. You can call the office and I'm happy to talk with you. I'm actually taking over my dad's job now, and I will be booking the concert. So, yeah, it's been a long year and a half, or almost a year and a half. We're ready to get out there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, hi, Ruth. So good to see you all back. Coming to see you at one of your concerts. Oh, I'm so glad. Thanks, Ruth. That's awesome. Ruth made an album here years ago in our studio. Uh, Yuli, I hope I pronounced your name right. She said, Here Singers is the reason I became an English teacher. Now, that's awesome. That's interesting. I'd love to know more of that story. Uh, you can read that one there. Uh, uh, Don Lee, I hope I'm saying that right. Art Mappa is a music genius. Oh. Yeah, we think so too. <laughs> you, if you don't know, he's my dad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but, well, I know. I tried to get him in here, but he was like, 
being a little too shy today, so maybe I can get him in, on here in another live. Yeah, we'll, we'll get him in at some point. Wow, Benawatu. Someone's asking about recordings at TBN in the 80s, if we have them. Oh, Merrick. Oh, hi, Merrick. Merrick's, Merrick is right there. The guy that's, that's him. Did you recognize yourself, Merrick? It's been a while. Um, <laughs> all those shows are, we, we have copies of all those shows that we did on TBN years ago. So. Aren't those on YouTube, some of them? Some of them are on YouTube, yeah. Loma Linda. And Loma Linda. Um, posted some of them. Or LLBN, I think, posted a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Um. Val, your comment at your dad's service to live ready changed me. We never know when our last breath will be. If we have to get ready, we aren't ready when we're not ready. Live ready. That's yeah, it. so maybe you should talk about that moment. Because um, that was that was an amazing talk you did um, at his service. And you were saying that you really didn't know what you were saying at the moment. Huh? Yeah, I didn't know. I've been praying about what to say for weeks. And there's so much to say about my dad because he's just such an amazing man. But I I didn't know what I was going to say. But I walked out and just asked that God would direct my words. How do I honor a man that's, you know, there's just so much to say about him. But I do believe that, that we need to live ready. And not just, you know, well, I'm going to get ready one day. I'm going to, you know, live ready. Because this world is crazy with all the things that are happening. It's, it's crazy. And I know a lot of you have been in a lot of hurt. You probably lost loved ones. And, and it's been a really hard time on everyone, not just us. But the, the Lord is our refuge and strength. And he will get us through anything. We depend on him. Yeah. I'm from Brazil. How do you pronounce his name? Rodrigo. Oh, Rodrigo. Okay, hello from Brazil. Let's see, Kana's here. Hey, Kana. Hi, Kana. Kana is one of the sweetest people on earth. She, she sang. sang with us for a few years, and she's one of my dearest friends. And her husband, Mark, does a lot of our uh, graphic, design. graphic design. Yeah. He's, he's very good at what he does. So I recommend that you go check out. Do you remember his name? It's Canoe. Red. Red oh canoe. my gosh, Kana, tell me the name of Mark's company. <laughs> I just did a review on him. It's, I know the words Canoe's in there. Help me, help me out. Um, Sammy's asking if we'd go to Texas. Yeah, we'll go anywhere. We just need to have a sponsor to fly us there and take care of us once we get there. Um, oh, you like the photos behind me? Yes. That's, that was Mary. That was because you're in it, right, Mary? <laughs> <laughs> One thing that's also happening next year is we're, we're scheduled to go to Prague. Yeah, next it's been postponed twice now, but we're scheduled to sing in Prague, Czech Republic, July next summer so praying that that will happen you know stuff is happening and so we're really excited to be able to get out on the road again yes we're so excited it's gonna be weird in a way um not uh, weird and sad not having my dad on stage um so it's weird because the thought of singing again with adam breaks my heart but at the same time the thought of singing again to honor him and his ministry that he loves so much, you know, makes me really happy to get to do that. It says, hi, Austin, how is your wife? Oh, my wife is great. <laughs> Austin's wife's a kindergarten teacher. Yep, she's a teacher and they're just about to start school again. So yep. she's, she's starting to get into the rhythm of things again. But we had a great summer break together thanks for asking yeah super sweet 20 years since we saw a heritage concert which you'd come to minnesota we'll come to minnesota she asks, have you andrea asks, have you ever been to minnesota oh yeah absolutely yep we have been to minnesota 
but we're we're willing and ready to go anywhere that that the governor will let us go. <laughs> we're happy to get back out there. Oh, hi Ken. We will make it. You're right. We have to look at all the things that we're thankful for and the way that God has provided through this difficult time. Yeah, Cindy says, I do believe that Max will lead the choir in heaven. That's something we've heard a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually something we, we think will happen, too. Yep, absolutely. And I look forward to that day when we can sing together again. Elmer said, I still remember when Heritage went to Manila, that day was supposed to rain during the concert, but people prayed like Elijah and there was no rain. Do you That's remember right. that? Yep. I sure do. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for all these great comments. Did Kana ever pop back on? Uh, I haven't seen her. Kana, where are you? Come back. Zimbabwe. Hi there. You love the Heritage Singers. I'm so glad. We do, too. We love it, too. <laughs> the funniest thing is... You know, our own music really has been a comfort to us during this time. And we were all, all, a lot of the singers were with my dad when he took his last breath. And we were singing over him and praying over him. And as hard as that was, it was really beautiful. Oh, that we could all be together. Thank you, Brian, for putting that. It's Mark Bond Red Canoe Creative on Facebook. He's an amazing graphic designer and a dear friend of ours. So if you need any of that kind of work, check him out. Yeah. Um, we're excited for what God has in store for us. And we just love for your continued support and prayers. Um, we long to be out there. If there's any place that would like to bring us, um, we're more than willing to come. So uh, maybe check out uh, our website with our phone number, heritagesingers.com. And I'm here Monday through Thursday, and I will talk to you directly and to book concerts. And we're ready to go. Yeah, she's really easy to work with. <laughs> yeah. He has to say that because we work together. Every yeah. Day. Where are they from? More from the Philippines. Oh, hi from Chile and Mexico, Papua New Guinea, Fiji. Oh yeah, we've sung in Fiji. That was that was very, very fun. Yeah, and if you uh, if you aren't able to book the concerts, talk to the people who can. You know, in your church. Yeah, if you if you know some people that could help sponsor a concert, um, that would be great. We are more than ready to get out there. So, we're going to try to come on more often now. Um, now that we can make it through this without crying. Um, but, we're excited to, to have things take off and get going. And... Uh, continue on the journey that, that God planned for us from the start, from 1971. And um, we're hoping to get out more music for you and whatever, whatever we can do to uplift the Lord and support you in these difficult times, that's what our ministry would like to do. And we just thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, hi, Bob Baker. I'm excited to see you. He moved from California to Michigan. Yes, call me. We need to catch up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, there was a point where we couldn't really get all the comments because they're all going so fast, but it still means a lot that you're interacting with us and um, it helps a lot reach reach word out that we're still going yeah we're not stopping we are catching our breath from all that we've been through and covid kind of threw a big hiccup in our plans but um god has perfect timing and 
we're excited. September 11, go to, um, it's on our website, our concert at Andrews University in the Performing Arts Center, but it is ticketed. We and just posted um, a link to where to get the tickets on our Facebook page. Yes. So if you want to get tickets, make sure you go to that event that we created and you click the link and you'll be shown where to get tickets and you can choose exactly where you want to sit. Yeah, but they're going fast and it's going to be a great night with a lot of uh, the singers there, uh, Melody and Shaney and Cindy and uh, me and then uh, Miguel and Tim Calhoun and Dave Bell and uh, the person filling in for my dad that night is going to be Scott Reed, which, you know, Scott sung with us for years and he's an amazing person inside and out that loves the Lord so much and we're just excited to get to be back together again. So, oh, hi Tiger, we're looking forward to seeing you. Dick Bird lives in Michigan, so yeah. Come early so we can say hi and catch up. Yeah, well, yeah, again, thanks again for just tuning in. We're going to plan on doing some more of these. And uh, yeah, if you want us to do even more, just leave a comment. Um, we want to we wanna really get to know you guys better and mm -hmm. talk to you more. We just had to take a, a short break um, just to recuperate ourselves but catch our breath yeah but i feel like we're ready now to get back into things absolutely we're excited so tell your friends get in touch with us we're ready to go yeah and thanks again for all your love and support it's it's really been a, a beautiful blessing to our family yeah we read all the comments yeah the comments the cards the letters mm -hmm. and so proud of my papa. Yeah. He's such a good man. Next time you see us, we'll probably be talking about the albums we've been remastering. Yeah. Which we're really excited about. Yeah, the ones that have never been in print, uh, never were on a CD. So there's a lot of the old albums that I think are going to make a huge comeback and bring back a lot of memories from the past. Back in the, what is it, starts in the 80s? I wasn't born, so I, <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't know. We born. <laughs> but yeah, they were they were all the way back. I think the oldest one we have is from 1975. Is that Spirit of Praise? It might be that one, or we come this far by faith. Oh, that one was first. Actually, the yeah, we've one. come this far by faith. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, Bob. I see you got your tickets. We're really looking forward to seeing you. In Michigan, your new home. All right. Well, thanks again for joining us. We yes. really appreciate it. And we will definitely talk to you guys again soon. Don't forget to call me this week. I want to book some concerts. Yes. Okay. Have a have a beautiful weekend. Yeah. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye.